And this is where the story starts. We raise clownfish. Oh my god. Dude. Really bright orange. The pop. What is up everybody? Welcome back to another amazing video. As you guys can see from today's title and thumbnail, we are doing an epic, epic tour. Hey Polly. Hey man. Paul's not doing the epic tour. Paul is uh Paul's buying from the tour. <laughs> Paul is gonna be buying like 50 clownfish today. We it's got Colson here. We've got we've got the boys here today, but anyways, like I said, you guys are not gonna want to miss this video. We are about to walk in to the massive, massive warehouse. And let me tell you guys, it is just completely full of clownfish, different colors, different spots, anything you guys can think of, this place is going to have actually our two clownfish inside of the 90 gallon Red Sea came from Pro Aquatics. So we're gonna go in here, show you guys around, show you guys all the different tanks and all the different clownfish. You guys are not gonna wanna miss this one. Right here, we are looking at these golden trevallies. Dude, so, so awesome. Look at how small those little guys are. And then we're also gonna be looking at a much larger version of that, an adult. Look at the little neon gobies. Look at the net full of neon gobies. <laughs> Dude, they're so big. This past batch was hey, just Jed. like, Hey Jim, how's it going bud? <laughs> this patch, patch we got, we're just all monsters. And these guys are big. So the guys, the first like six rows. What is it? Oh my god. The first six rows are all just monsters. <laughs> oh, oh my wow. goodness, dude. Woo! There's so many clouds. <laughs> oh dude, Jed, look at this. That thing is sick. These, These are clownfish? Baby, They're baby. so cute. Teeny, tiny little clownfish, everybody. I'm gonna walk away from the boys so I can let them film. Just clownfish everywhere. Hope you guys are ready to see a whole lot of clownfish today because I'm telling you, there's a lot. Look at these guys. Dude. What the heck? No way. So, so cool. Seahorses. Hey. You should get a pair of seahorses. I kind of like those, but those those guys are kind of mean, right? Oh, those, are, those are maroons. Guys, this place literally does not end. We got fish cheeks. Hi, I'm Eric Wagner with Pro Aquatics. I'm the owner of Pro Aquatics, and this is where the story starts. We raise clownfish, and this is where we make the salt. This is where we make the water. Holy cow. Here's our clownfish brood stock. Uh, these are the parent fish that spawn all the uh, our nice little baby clownfish. Sweet, let's see them. <laughs> Dude, I've never seen clownfish this big. Oh my god. So this pair of clownfish is actually guarding their eggs right now. Colson, look at these ones guarding their eggs. Look, they're on the eggs. Look at look, look how awesome that pair is too. You guys can probably hardly see, but those little black things on the rock right there on the tile are the eggs. What is that called? It's like a cheek spot Picasso. Look at these ones, dude. That's so naked. Look at the long fin. Oh my goodness. Look at how long it fins are. Wow, dude. The tiles. Here's so Oh my goodness. You guys, you guys, look at the size of this clownfish. Oh my god. That thing is a beast. <laughs> How many clownfish are in this little they don't know if gonna In but here we really have 240 tanks. 240 tanks with yeah. about two clownfish in each. Two clownfish in each. So we've got about 500 clownfish in this row of fish tanks. Absolutely nuts. Look yeah, at the just the, clownfish, the, yeah, the different colors, the different patterns are just nuts. We're walking up to the next row. No way. You guys look at Look at the fins on that long fin clownfish. Yeah, it just keeps going. It literally does not stop. See the lips on that thing. <laughs> yeah, he's got like pucker lips. Look at these things, naked clownfish. What are we doing over here, Paul? Oh I'm following you. Oh, what you got in your hand, dude? Look at them. Oh my. That is epic. Look at how, dude, these things are amazing. Oh! <laughs> 
Welcome to the splash zone, dude. <laughs> Stole my line. Uh, look at those puffer fish, dude. That is insane. We are uh, just what disinfecting ourselves. That was so cool. We are. And this is the hatchery. This is the hatchery. Gotcha. All right. They're so tiny. There's millions of these. My God. Jed, how many do you think are in there? Like seven. Thousand. No seven. They're just seven. <laughs> yeah. Look at them. Oh man, they're tiny. You guys are not even gonna see them. They are that, actually little specks. They look like That's little copepods. Crazy. What kind of fish are these? These are fusilaires. Those ones that we saw in that yeah. last uh, mm -hmm. big root stock tank. Dude, that is actually crazy. Oh, I heard there was fish. There's you guys see those little here. white specks in look the water? It. Those are little teeny tiny fish. They haven't wow, even started go. eating yet. Yeah. Turn around a little bit. Float around. Wait until uh, tomorrow. That's when they get fed. So, so these are how old would you say? Oh. They were born yesterday. Okay, so these are literally day old, little teeny tiny fish, those white specks. And tomorrow you guys introduce food to them? Tomorrow they get introduced. So the second day that you usually introduce the food? Depends on the species, but yeah, it's usually within two to four days. Okay, that's, that's good to know. What are these? These are perks and maroons. and maroons. Oh my goodness. Look at these little fish. Look at the size of those things. Like little, like that's my finger. That's that's, oh my goodness! Look, that's a better look for you guys. Look at how small they really do. They look like little copepods just swimming around. <laughs> These are little royal grandmas. I'm sure you all know what those are. The yellow and purple fish. Super, super small though. That is nuts, dude. That is actually crazy. Look at how many clownfish are in this tank. A million. This is where we grow the algae that we feed to some of the food that we feed to the fish. And also we use it to color the, the tanks of the smaller fish that uh, you just saw in there. Awesome. Maybe we'll, we'll get some orchid dotty backs. Moving on, we're gonna go look at some of these golden trevally. Look at them, oh so, my gosh. So, hey, these are all babies of those fish that we were feeding, those little like sardines. These are all the baby versions of that. Amazing. So wait, what are yeah, these? Those are orchids. Some more orchids. There's like neon, are neons in there. And could be a few springers as well. So many orchid dotty backs. It is crazy in here, you guys. You guys got like these little moonfish. Look at them go. Look at them go. Those are amazing, amazing huge predatory fish. We've got some more orchid dotty backs. You would know them as a lane. A lane snapper. A lane snapper. No, these are totally allowed to have. You're allowed to have them? Oh, absolutely. Really? Yep. As long as you have an aquaculture permit, which we do, and that is on the paperwork, and the lace, all that sort of stuff. Gotcha. It's not a problem. So not only does he grow some amazing clownfish, you guys, I mean, we've seen it all, the whole nine yards. What do we even got over here? These things are cool looking. Some more fuselage. Dude, look at just all the different patterns that are just flowing throughout this fish tank. This is seriously the cra one of the craziest places I've ever been to. So you guys, I think we are going to be leaving with a pair of clownfish. We are going to be hand-picking two clownfish today. It is going to be absolutely amazing. Look at this big old ball of storms. That is amazing. Look at that. Center one. Okay. Oh, where'd he go? We'll take that little guy. Yeah. Take that little guy, take that guy. Yeah, I like the gladiator with like the black trim on it. I think that like flurry or something. Dude, that is so crazy. There's to just see. too many of them. Look at all the clouds. You guys, right now we are hand picking our two storms. Look at how many storms are in that little net. That is crazy. I like that guy too, the one on the top. Look at that. That is so amazing. We've got our eyes on one. Oh. He's 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 a quick one. Oh my goodness, he is fast. Hey, perfect. So is he like, what would he be considered, a black storm? He's a mocha. Mocha? He's kind of a, like a semi storm. I like him a lot. He is pretty. Yeah, again too. Come on. Oh gosh. 
love to see it, yeah. How can you bring me to these places, dude, and not expect me to get anything? You know, no, I expected it, 100%. You lost your mind, bro. So, this is our netball. You want to help me pick my two? Yeah. I've got one definitely picked, which is the black oh, one. Yeah. And then between the rest, you should oh probably get a bigger God. one, right? I think the front I would say one. The front one yes. This one? Yep. Hard body, dude. Yep. There we go, you guys. Those are our two new clownfish, our new storm clownfish, and those we'll be introducing to the 90 gallon Red Sea. So we are also gonna continue to look around. We might even grab a sunrise dotty back. We don't even know yet. So much stuff to look at, you guys, but big shout out to Pro Aquatics. Amazing, amazing place, amazing fish. So what we're doing right now is we're actually going to be picking out a dotty back of some sort. I don't know if we're gonna be picking an orchid dotty back, sunrise dotty back, or a splendid dotty back, but we've got a lot of options here at Pro Aquatics. Uh, what do you think I should go with here? <laughs> uh, I'll bring them up in the net and then kind of let you uh, gotcha. we'll pack them right here, put them in the bag. Awesome. Yeah, like the guys with the bright stripe going down? Yeah. Those are pretty neat too. Those, those are sunrise. Yeah. And what is that guy? This is a neon. Ooh, he's really cool too. Yeah, that orange cool. tail. <laughs> oh man, that's hard to choose from. It's yeah. kind of like an opposite, you know? It's like kind of polar mm -hmm. opposite from each other. There are I, springers in here. They're, I think the neons and the sunrise are the best. Yeah, I think I like the neons. I think yeah. I like the neons. You know, I'll take one of the neons for sure. Take a neon? Yes, sir. Sure the same. Hey, uh, there you got our little guy right there. Beautiful fish. You guys, big shout out Pro Aquatics. Can't say that enough in today's video. Make sure you guys go and check them out. They've got a wissy wig online. All right, Judd, do a little bit of some explaining. If anybody wants some clownfish, tell them how they get them. Uh, you go to Paul's channel, Colson's channel, my channel. I already did the same talk. No, I'm just kidding. So what over here? <laughs> so over here is Pro. Over here is Pro Aquatics' wissy wig stuff. So unfortunately, Pro Aquatics is a breeder, which means they're a wholesaler, which means they can't sell directly to the public. But what they can do is sell directly to me, and I can sell directly to you. But these are all visible to the public. So if you go to Pro Aquatics' website, you can scroll their hot seat and see all their fish that are available. And their hot seat is only their best of the best fish. So if you want a really nice pair of clowns, that hot seat is the perfect place to go. But like I said, they can't sell to the public, so let me know. I can either ship it directly to you, or if you're local, you can come grab it from us in the store. But definitely you gotta check out that hot seat. If you guys are trying to get the same clownfish that I got here today, you guys, come and check out their WYSIWYG. They've got amazing, amazing stuff here. And even if you don't see anything in their WYSIWYG, they also have their actual species list on their website as well. So you can scroll that as well. So if you don't see anything you got hot to your like, but you see one that they have, you know, in their stock list, let me know and I can also bring those in as well. Boom. You, you can put your fish with mine, that's fine. Are you sure? Yeah, that's My fine. Cool yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. I got 50 of them, you just try anything. They're not lasting too much longer. Oh, okay. so it's yeah. like that. Oh yeah. They can't be friends, but it's like yeah. if they do try They can't anything. be friends, they can be friends, but well, like. if they try know. anything slick, like yeah. you got the whole I game. mean, I got gang on the left, and I got gang gang on the right. <laughs> They'll take care of them. Yeah, go for it. That's just the oxygen going in the bag, right? Yeah. Yep. Perfect. Oh, cool little it. thing you got going on. Boom, it, done, yeah. like that. That makes life a whole lot easier, huh? <laughs> <laughs> and boom, they're going in right with Polish fish. Look at what he got, that is insane. All right, everybody, so that will actually wrap it up here at Pro Aquatics today. What an amazing facility. So many different clownfish, so many different species of fish that we saw today. Some fish I've never even seen, some clownfish I've never even seen before, like those long, thin ones. Crazy, dude, yeah. those are insane, bro. This is a good time. Um, but yeah, we had a great time today. Big shout out to Paul for bringing me out here. Big shout out to Jed. Big shout out to Colson. Big shout out to Eric. Eric, thank you for having me out here today, man. It was absolutely amazing. No what a facility you have here. Crazy things you guys are doing over here, but. We gotta get home, we got 50 fish. You've got 50 fish, I've got two. I've got three fish, actually. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Never leaving anywhere we go empty handed. It's kind of just a bad habit at this point. But anyways, I will see you guys back at the house. Big shout out to everybody. Hey, Paul. Hey, bro. <laughs> really quickly, though, what we are going to be doing is we are actually, you guys, I don't want you guys to start flaming me and say, oh my god, you can't keep a clownfish, you can't keep a clownfish. Well, we were originally going to try to put two pairs of clownfish inside of the 90 gallon, but that is not what we are going to do. We don't want to risk anybody fighting or anything like that. So, you guys all know that this was just a kind of a little experiment tank, the little 20 gallon, and of course, you guys know that it is getting broken down and setting up that 50 gallon innovative marine. So what we are going to be doing today is we're going to be moving these clownfish back over to Tommy's and the sunrise dotty back that we got is going to actually go inside of the 90. But I mean all of our frags, all of our coral is doing absolutely amazing inside of the 90 gallon. Look at how fuzzy that cherry bomb frag is. And then right there we've got the grafted monoyapora. 
all of my acros are doing well, you guys. Now, uh, bear with me. I got this orange lens just for all of you. Because you guys were coming for me in the comments last time. You guys were even coming for Paul. There were a couple comments, and they were like, Paul, dude, buy him a lens. Why does Paul got to buy me a lens? <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, everything inside of the 90 is looking amazing. That's how my acros are feeling, growing nice and big and strong. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are, ladies and gentlemen. Ugh, what a terrible, terrible noise. So, what we are going to be doing first... Was it? Was it a joke? What the? Oh, it's probably just to keep all the other ones. Oh, to keep them nice. Smart man, dude. I was like, yo, what is this guy playing with me? Here is our amazing... Neon dotty back. Hard to see, but you guys will see it very nice and clear when he goes inside of the fish tank. Now in the meantime, while this little guy is acclimating, we are also going to be floating our two brand new storm clownfish, you guys. What beautiful patterns on that. That's like more of like a mocha storm. Very, very beautiful. He's got like some cool little orange. I would almost say he's like a tri-color storm, if that's even a thing. He's got like the bright orange, he's got the brown, he's also got the black and the white. Look at the belly of him, he's like kind of bright orange. We're waiting on Tommy to get back to the shop so we can bring him these other clowns, everybody. But that is that for those guys. We're going to just set them in there. All right, you guys. It is now the moment of truth. We are getting this neon dotty back inside of its new forever home. Look at how amazing that fish is. Kind of got a bright yellow, bright blue, neon blue going through the dorsal, the dorsal spine of the fish. And <sighs> You guys, I get a little nervous when Paul films. <laughs> and you guys, we practice safe reefing around here. We don't, we don't like to mix waters. All right, little guy. Oh, oh, whoa. Oh my goodness, wow. bro. You seeing this thing? It cracked out. All right, all right, all right, all right. You guys get a little look. Crazy colors. It's hard to see with the blue light, but- You guys see how bright orange that tail is? It, yeah. Oh my goodness, all right. Here goes nothing. So long, little buddy. So long, buddy. Dude, if you ask me, it looks like he fits right in. 100%. Right? Look at him going, he's just swimming around, he's gonna, you know, find his little rock. You leave him alone. Leave him alone. <laughs> no, and Gio, why were you able to put this fish right in with no quarantine? Because, you guys, Proquatics is completely aquacultured. You guys, they raise their own fish in-house, hatch their own fish in-house. Everything is clean. I mean, there's no room for mistake when you do everything at your own facility with everything that you've kind of put your hands on. His colors are crazy right now. He is oh, you super, can't see it on camera. Cool, oh, you kind of see it. There we go. You can hardly see it though. The there we light. go. Where are we, you guys? You guys could already take a guess. We are at Tank Nitions with Tommy. We brought him our little clownfish. Let's get these guys all. Uh, let's do a little switcheroo, Tommy. Howdy, howdy, how you doing? Howdy, howdy. There you go. I will see you guys when we are back at the house getting ready to put our brand new clown fish inside of that 20 gallon. What another long day, but we are finally back at the house, everybody. Nice and simple, we have gotten this new scape done. We've got our one piece that Colson gave us, as well as that wonderful Raja Rampage chalice. You guys, look at our little Harlequin, our little Harlequin shrimp up there in the corner. We've got this other frag that uh, Colson gave us. Now, that side of it was a little shaded, so that side is dead, but. You guys has got some polyps out and it looks happy. There they are. I'm gonna get these guys out of the bag. And then we're gonna put them in our hand really quick. You guys can take a nice little look at them and then we're gonna quickly put them inside of the brand new tank. Hi little guys. I know. I know. Here. Oh, we're gonna do it one by one, I guess. Look at that amazing orange storm, everybody. I'm not gonna waste too much time playing around. There you are. Oh my goodness. Look at how beautiful you are. That is an orange storm of clownfish, everybody. A very, very nice one to say the least. Now for like one of my favorite little guys that we picked out today. Crazy guys as well. Look at this, this is like a, look, you see he's got a really bright orange at the bottom. He's like kind of a mocha brown, but then look at that face. Look at that pattern on the face. This is a super, super nice clownfish. Let's get this guy in as well. There you go, buddy. There you go. Look at that one. Those are two amazing clownfish. And that is it. That is their new home, of course, until they move on over to this. 
So we are very, very excited for that. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Going out to Pro Aquatics, one of the biggest aquacultured clownfish farms. I mean, you guys saw a lot more than clownfish over there. We saw all the dotty backs, all the gramas. We saw the giant golden trevallies. We saw the little baby golden trevallies. We saw literally just a bit of everything, everybody. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. But with that being said, we will wrap things up right here and I'll catch you guys on next week's episode. Peace out.